video will highlight JSW's latest controller, the Syscom 5000i. This controller is equipped on all of our JSW ADS injection molding machines. Tonnage size is 30 to 450 ton. In this short introduction video, we will explain the layout, navigation, and workflow of the controller. Let's start with the home screen. At the top, we have the upper status display area. This area displays the molding condition name, molding process monitor, customizable shortcuts, and a menu button where you can find settings for units, language, date, time, etc. The middle section we have the screen application display area. In the home screen, it displays all the Syscom applications. At the bottom of the screen, we have the lower status display area. This section displays the current shot count, operation indication lamps, the back, home, application history, shortcut launcher, screenshot, and zoom keys. The first application will be the molding setting application. This application has all the settings used for installing a mold and setting up a process. The molding setting application is divided into two sections. The top section is called the monitoring section. The bottom section is called the molding condition setting section. These two sections can be changed independently. The machine tab serves two purposes. First, it displays the monitor information, and second, it displays the shortcuts to the molding condition setting screen. You can change tabs by either pushing the tab button or swiping left and right. The molding condition setting screen offers a convenient workflow for the user, from installing a mold to setting up a process. Starting from left to right, every setting related to the setup and process can be found in these tabs. First is the setup tab where you adjust the mold thickness and set the clamp force. Second is the temperature tab. Third is the mold open close tab. Fourth is the injection holding pressure tab. Fifth is the recovery tab. Sixth is the ejector tab. Seven is the compression tab. Eight is the air jet tab. Nine is the valve gate tab. Ten is the core tab. Eleven is the option tab. Twelve is the auto purge tab. Once you have the basic setup, and options selected that are required for the mold, you can use the overall setting application. At the top of the overall setting screen, you will see the status monitor and a waveform graph. Below that, we have the setting sections for temperature, injection and hold pressure, recovery, mold open and close, and ejector. These settings are carried over from the molding setting application. Following are a couple of additional features on the Syscom 5000i controller. The first feature is the help application shortcut which opens the manual to the page related to the function you need help with. Simply push and hold the setting you wish to view for one second and then touch the question mark. You can now expand the page. The second feature is a shortcut menu to the molding setting application screen. When you have the overall setting application open, touch the molding process monitor to display the shortcut menu and select the molding setting screen tab that you want to jump to. Push the back button when finished to go back to the overall setting application. This concludes the introduction video of the JSW Syscom 
5000i controller. Thank you for watching.